reported insuring 18.6 thousand cars in China. That's close to 8% higher than last year year to date. If you consider that there are still two days left to end the year, we shall see where we end up. Finally, Tesla China has just officially announced they started trial production at the new Shanghai Megapack factory. Lots of great news to end the year. And one of my favorite guests to end the year with, fantastic, is Brian White. He's the host of his own YouTube channel, Futuraza. Thank you so much, Brian. Good morning, Herbert. Yeah, the uh, robot wars have begun, and we'll see how they all shake out. But <laughs> robots filming robots doing bad things to robots seems very appropriate. <laughs> Ashok Goswami made a comment about that, right? Robots should be <laughs> kind to other robots. It is interesting, right? Um, yeah, three robots, right? Three cars mm -hmm. autonomously interacting with each other. We'll take a look at that. First, of course, Ashok uh, promised right, as Vice President of Autonomy, that well, version 12.6 would roll out to hardware three cars before the end of this year. And it kind of like pros and good and bad, right? The, the bad part was, yes, it's only initially rolling out to the SNX customers and other platforms should be the within a week. But the good part is they pulled in a few important improvements from V13 into this 12.6. So there should be additional ones. Uh, so it's starting to roll out now with customers with hardware three. I think you have a couple cars with that. I've got a couple cars with hardware three as well. So I'm looking forward to it. It includes end-to-end -end highway, improved city streets behavior, which reduces fall slowdowns, improves obstacle avoidance, customizable speed profiles, earlier and more natural lane change decisions, redesigned controller for smoother, more accurate tracking, and max speed update. Uh, what's your thoughts about what they rolled out, Brian? So I've been getting... The same comments you have, I'm sure, with all the nervous Nellies saying, oh, it's never, we're never going to get full autonomy on Hardware 3. That was a rumor started by one very bitter journalist with an axe to grind and has no uh, connection to anything any of the engineers have ever said. Oh, but they confirmed that if they need to, they'll do an upgrade. Yeah, that's an if. That's a big if. And it was only had to be answered because the one reporter kept pushing. Uh, so, great. Uh, I think it's going to SNX first because it's a much smaller pool. And if it works, then they'll roll it out wider. That's how that's how they do it. And it's an easier way to keep track of it. Could be that the SNX have something about them that makes them better suited to it. We'll find out soon enough. These are big changes. Uh, anyone who's experienced version 13 will tell you that it is an improvement, that the usual two steps forward, one step back, this wasn't. This was just two steps forward. If the best of what's in version 13 has made it into the version 12 updates that SNX are getting, those drivers are going to be very happy. We only have to wait a few days to start hearing reviews from people who have uh, who have the new software to get their first takes on it. But I am uh, very, very, I mean, I'm not even hopeful. I'm just confident that it's going to be a good thing. Yeah, very much a good thing. 12.6 is going to be a huge improvement. Not quite version 13, but uh, Elon did promise, right? If you have a hardware three car, that uh, if for some reason version 13 is not able to work there, which I don't think that they've concluded that that's going to be the case. No. Um, then we'll just upgrade you. Just shut everybody up for free. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there was an early video uh, where Sandy Monroe and his team tore down a, a vehicle looking at Hardware 4 for the first time. And they said, I don't think you could retrofit Hardware 3 cars with this hardware. And the reasons they gave uh, would be true if you or I tried to do it, not true if a manufacturer tried to do it. Yeah. And then since then, we've gotten clarity from Tesla that the vehicles have been designed to be upgraded if they needed to. So I'm not worried about any of that. Yeah, and I think the other consideration is that uh, they can take the same, you know, uh, so neural net software that they've created that, that they have and retrofit it or not retrofit, but design it for the hardware three car. But they may not like why bother doing that? Because that's going to take several months, right? Why not just upgrade everybody to AI five cars, the AI five chips, which is what Brian Wang was saying. Because if you've already got this ability to go robo taxi, why not spend the two grand? Tesla will spend it, not you, to upgrade all cars to AI5. Start with the hardware three cars, upgrade them to AI5. And eventually even us hardware four cars will switch to AI5 too. So yeah. because it takes time, it takes time and money. And if you can fix it over the air, you know how Tesla likes over the air. 99% yeah. of recalls are handled that way. Uh, so yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
All right, so this, this is fun. We'll watch some videos here. You've got this self-driving fridge hit by a self-driving Waymo recorded by self-driving Tesla. So you can see this recording here. So we'll watch a little bit of it here. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the music. So there's that little fridge that's driving this kind of serve robotics crossing the, oh, oh. there you go. And there seems Ow. to be, a, yeah. Let's take another yeah. look at that. But I mean, that's a Waymo turning right. The fridge was going down. Of course, it didn't see it despite all the LIDAR. Oh, mm -hmm. poor little kitty. Let's take a look. Good thing it was just the hardware. And it looked mm. like it sped up too. The, the Does that look like it sped I up? I can't tell if it sped up. Uh, so the thing, the big misunderstanding with LIDAR is that uh, too many people think it is a silver bullet and it is not. It is just another layer of vision. And we've seen cruises that had slammed into the back of city buses. It doesn't help you to have better vision if the vision isn't your problem. If your problem is the brain that's powering the vision. Yeah. Uh, you can, I can only see in one direction at a time. Pure vision can see in all directions. That's already an improvement. But I don't need, uh, you know, microscopic level detail vision to be able to do 99% of the things I would need to do. Really, I mean, almost, almost all the things. I can't think of things for which I need the kind of precision LiDAR would have. Um, it's not going to, well, maybe it could help you determine if that's a paper bag or a small animal before hitting it. Yeah, maybe, but uh, also the compute requirement is uh, orders of magnitude greater. I, I don't see it being even helpful. And the only people I've seen saying that it is critical are low-level engineers who work for the other FSD companies, for the other companies working on autonomy, who are really, really angry that Tesla's leading the way with, uh, with a much cheaper, simpler, and more elegant solution. I like the way at the end here. Take a look what happens. The serve robotics guy backs out and starts driving again. And rolls away. Rolls away. Cute. One of us planned for this, Waymo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now here's the um, kind of an opposite scenario where the Model 3, a Tesla Model 3 on version 13, recognizes the self-driving fridge, serve robotics, and crosses the road. So let's take a look at that one. It's fun. It's interesting that, you know, the other car, their lead car actually went through, right? That's a human driver. <laughs> Didn't wait it's, for that. Just took, it's got gonna, you're supposed eyes. to stop. Yeah. You're supposed yeah. to stop, but, uh, you know, <laughs> let's take a look. The eyes blink. Did you see? So, no. Yeah. The eyes blinked? <laughs> right there. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. What a That's great cute. feature. That costs you <laughs> almost nothing. Yeah. I uh, interviewed Server Robotics. They've got a fantastic uh, rollout happening already. They're